Hello, I'm Antrisim, and welcome to RimWorld. Okay, so we're in RimWorld Alpha 13 now. It's been a little while since I've played RimWorld, actually. Uh, so there's been a number of changes. The main one with Alpha 13, though, is relationships. And people have relationships to each other, like wife, lover, husband, brother, all that kind of stuff. Also, things like ex-lover, which is like a minus 15. You can have these relationships with people in your, like, group or faction leaders uh, on character creation. We don't actually have any relationships at the moment, I believe. No, we don't. Uh, so this is going to be our starting group. We have Dare Kun, who is uh, construction, growing, mining, artistic. I thought it pretty good to have someone who could do that. Unfortunately, no dumb labor, but whatever. Psychopath with chemical interest and lazy. Hmm. Maybe not lazy and those is the best combination. I was thinking maybe we should just randomize you a few times and try and get someone a little bit better. We're looking for someone with construction, growing, and mining. Yes, that's a lot of traits to have on one person. Uh, I prefer you to be able to do violent. Nope. 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 Closer, but still nope. Uh, nope. Construction. No growing. Barely any mining. I mean, we have got four passionate growing here. And a six sort of mining, I guess? We need construction. I guess that gives us the construction. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. Too smart. Brawler. Ugly. Okay, sure. Right, so you are Darken. Uh, you're in charge of melee. You're in charge of building stuff. You used to be a mechnoid nerd. Uh, and the only child of a pair of mechnoid designers, uh, eventually he became obsessed with building his own machines. Huh. And then became a military engineer. I mean, that's just an obvious... I mean, you know, you were this brilliant child able to create mechnoids and stuff, and then the military came along and went, Hi, we'd like you to, you know, make us and build and play with and just improve our mechnoids. And that's kind of obvious. I mean, I don't even need to come up with a background for that. That's obvious. Uh, ugly, too smart, brawler. Um... Brawler, obviously you were a mechnoid nerd, but you were this like tough mechnoid nerd, right? So like people picked on you like, ha ha ha, uh, you've got no friends, etc. You're such a nerd. And he's like actually a tough guy and he's got into like brawls when he's a kid. So obviously he's a pretty good brawler. Um, too smart. I mean, he is a nerd. Ugly. Uh, he got punched a few too many times in these brawls. Um, broken nose and stuff. So yeah. Uh, maybe he got cut at some point. Got a scar. Actually, he doesn't because that would come under health. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, you've got construction. Mining you're pretty passionate about. That helps. Uh, right, Lucasy James. Coma child became a glitter world surgeon. Obviously, you know, you spent a lot of time in a coma in a hospital. And then when you woke up, um, you know, you heard all about how the people in the hospital were really nice and helped you and stuff. So you tried to help. You tried to, you know, you, you became a doctor out of a, of a belief that you should put back, that you should, you know, help care for people like people help care for you. Um, careful shooter. I don't know really why you take up shooting. Maybe out of a need to defend yourself when you're a coma child, you're kind of vulnerable and you feel that you want to be able to take control of your life, which is why you went in for guns or something. Uh, optimist. I mean, things worked out for you in the end, so maybe, maybe you should be optimistic. And you're gay. Uh... Shooting six, passionate about it. Growing, passionate about it. Medicine seven. Uh, right. And here we have Masters. It was meant to be Ben Masters, but unfortunately, um, I can't fit that all in. Uh, 19, Wild Child became an alcoholic trucker. Uh, when he killed his wife and daughter in a crash, his body was repaired with an experimental nanogenetic therapy. Uh, now his muscles continue to regenerate and harden in every movement tears the tissue in you. He bears the pain in silence. Uh, ow. Okay. Um, basically, you were like a South Texan kind of like, you know, maybe Florida. That's, you know, wild child, lots of drinking and stuff. And then you became a trucker. And then you kind of crashed uh, with your teenage wife and child and they all died and you're still wanted on the planet, here we go for um 
What would you be wanted for? Uh, drinking, drink, drive, drinking, driving, driving, drinking, driving on the influence. That's the one. Uh, and you escaped to try and avoid being punished for it. Uh, luckily, you know, your your time in the South Texas space area, I assume it's like Texas is now a planet of its own. Um, like you managed to get a lot of experience with guns and you're a careful shooter and steadfast. You kind of swan off drink for the moment. You're not a teetotaler, but you're trying to avoid the alcohol a little bit more, so you're not like an alcoholic anymore. But uh, occasionally you do still enjoy a drink. All by the age of 19, which is pretty impressive. Okay, right. And you're going to be in charge of training our animals and shooting things. Do we have a good cook? Five, four pattern, okay. Yeah, make this work. So I've got two mods installed right now. Um... Unfortunately, EDB uh, interface mod, which I absolutely love, um, is not updated. There's been some number of changes in 13 that made it kind of broken. But uh, I do have two other mods. They're very, very small. So if you're worried about mods changing it, no, I'm very, very small mods. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sounds and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. What do we have? Fable, the female warg. Trainable intelligence, advanced. Okay, let's let's teach obedience. Anyway, we've got we've got a female warg called Fable. Uh, right, so this... Oh my god, that is a lot of... I mean, I did pick Mountainous for a start location. So that's a lot of mountain, though. Okay, um... So the mods I've got installed, one is Manager Mod, which allows you to basically have a manager workbench, and then that person who works there will assign jobs to people. Basically, like, you can be like, I would like so much food or so many chairs and then you don't need to like select workbenches to do that the manager will then assign that to workbenches I install it mainly because if I want it I have to have a new save I won't use it for the moment but when I get around to using it if I do at least I've got it because I won't be able to use it otherwise and the second one is just a very small mod it's map reroll so if for instance we had a pretty crappy map I can reroll the map or I could reroll just the geezers if I want the geezer placement to be different. Now, the great thing about this is it does cost you resources. Every time you do it, it costs you from resources. Like we use 2% of the um, map resources, we lose 1% of the map resources. So there is a downside to rerolling. You can't just keep rerolling until you get some amazing map. I mean, you could, but you then suddenly realize your amazing map has no resources, which kind of takes away from it being amazing. Ooh, hello, Doe. Uh, so we could go for this map. The downside is. I'm not often a fan of tunneling for our base because, uh, to an extent, it's just a little bit strong. But on the other side of the fence, uh, I'm going to suck at this game because I haven't played in ages. Um, we've got a geezer here. I guess if we put like the entrance to our base here, that's reasonably close. The other choice is we could put like entrance to our base here, but that's an entrance there to come and screw up everything. Uh, we could put an entrance here. The geezer here. Yeah, we'll have to tunnel. There's just so much of this space is taken up by mountain. I think for now, we'll just set up here. Just because it's close. So, let us select all the metal. That's quite a lot of metal. All the wood. All the medicine. And all the food. Sweet. Okay, so... Shooting six, melee, there we go. Masters, shooting 12. You get the gun. Two careful shooters is pretty good for us. Right. Now, first steps as always. We need... Structure, wood wall, and I'm gonna put a wood wall. Here. Here. And then we're going to have a 
bedroom and a storage area. Okay, so I could put the storage area with that as well as the back of it, but I think what we'll do... We'll put a storage area and stuff here for the moment. That can be our storage room. And for bedrooms... We'll turn this into, like, a uh, place with bedrooms and stuff in it. So, if I was to, like, divide this into two... I'll get rid of that wall. And then we need another bedroom, because we've got three people. And then we can have, like, a, a food area in here or something. Yeah, that can be, like, our kitchen. So, kitchen, bedroom, hallway, bedroom, bedroom. Deconstruct. Okay, sweet. And I'm going to need a wooden door down here. I'm probably going to need quite a lot more wood. So... Yeah, just get us like a little bit more wood. All right, growing zone. We need two growing zones. What I'd like to do is have one for potatoes because potatoes are well, bog standard, easy to do. And then I'd like one for twelve by four, yeah. And then one for like corn because corn takes longer to grow but yields higher. So basically, we'll get the potatoes soon. And then afterwards, we'll hit with the corn, the corn, corn, mm, corn flakes, uh, the corn, which will come out later, but with like a bigger yield. All right, we good? We good? And then let's put our stockpile zone in here for now. Ooh, components. Yes, I'll have those. Let's also open the work thing and manual priorities. Doctoring one, firefighting one, 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 two, because you should be doctoring other people. Bed rest. Warden. Two. Right, so growing. You're passionate about it, so you actually should be growing. In fact, you should be the main person for growing. Mining. You're passionate about it, so you should do growing. Uh, mining, sorry. What about construction? Yeah, that's your main job. Everyone can do plant cutting to an extent. You should do those because you're passionate about them. Let's take manager off for the moment. And animal handling. Yeah, you should totally do animal handling. Can we, like, tame a squirrel? I would like a war squirrel. To be fair, we've got a war borg. A borg? War borg. Yes, yeah, so let's just train the borg. Uh, a war boar. A war wag. Boomalope. Uh, hopefully they're not, like, boom rats. I mean, we could train them. <gasps> I want a war bear. War bear, war bear, war I totally want a war bear. Is there any other bears around? No? You are now my war bear. 1% chance on a failed tame of an attack. Okay. <gasps> and there's more wags here. Can we get like a male wag and breed? Yes, we can. Oh my god, I want to breed male wags. 0.5% chance of it attacking us on a failed tame. I will take that chance. Because I laugh in the face of danger. I tweak the tale of terror. Once you get any of those references. Uh, right, let's get a dumping stockpile and for now we're going to dump here and I'm just going to remove like one section of that wall. And then, can I give you like a hauling order? Yes. Get rid of all that crap. Thank you very much. Quite a lot of crap around here to haul.
Oh, could we have a war tortoise? I totally want a war tortoise. I'm just gonna uh, move the wall over slightly because it looks a little bit unfair at the moment. Structure with wall. Whoever gets a tiny little room is gonna be disappointed. It's still not tiny, tiny. It's like what, like five by six or something. Okay, take your time. There we go. Did you get any berries off the bush? Taming grizzly bear. Yes. Tame well, my friend. The grizzly bear rejected the offer. 8% chance, though. Eight percent chance for a war grizzly bear I like. It's eight times the chance that it will attack us and probably kill us all. Okay, as it gets towards night, I'm just gonna chuck down some bleeding spots and we'll destroy them tomorrow. There we go. Learn the history tab. Learn the storage. Uh, should we just open that to make it happy? Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, we'll stay there. That's fine. No, Fable. I'm doing a proper full work day today, I'm pleased. You awake until, what, like, 11 p.m.? Almost midnight for you, Masters. Very nice. I'm pleased with your dedication. Three a.m. All the boomlips are sleepy. <gasps> There's a boomlip sleeping with a wild boar. Mm. And that, my friends, is how boom balls are made. I actually really do not want to ever meet a boom ball. What is that blood? Squirrel blood. Okay. Like, not our blood. That's all I really care about. Okay, let's delete these horrible sleeping spots. Uh, I would like to deconstruct. 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 And build a wooden bed. <gasps> a grizzly bear has been tamed and is called Grizzly Bear One. And has named Grizzly Bear One Susamu. Susumu. Susumu. Oh god, that is. There's gonna be problems with me saying that. I'm gonna call you Sam. Or Susan. Where are you, Susan? I don't know where Susan is. Susan. Training. Okay. Ah, uh, you can't. Requires trainable intelligence advanced. No rescuing and no hauling. But hey, you can do catch and release. Yes. Can I, like, open up your naming thing? No, you can't rename animals. Shucks. Hey, we have a grizzly bear. That's all I care about. Yeah, we're shot on wood right now. Still a lot of, like, hauling to be done, so I can't really blame them. Now it's raining. Even better. Shushumu. Susan. What about your training? I was still working on obedience. More wood chopping, please. 
Can I like tell them to have more wood chopping? Yeah. None of these are really wood chopping worthy. I think it's under like um, plant cut. I guess. I guess we'll upgrade plant cutting to be like more important. Because they didn't even get the beds done tonight. <gasps> we could have a war alpaca. What's their intelligence intermediate? Eh. What bunny rabbits intermediate? Squirrels intermediate. What about you, Boomalope? Inter uh. Four? Ah, ah, come here. Come here. I had you. There you go. Advanced! Okay, you can train a boar to grab people and bring them back. That said, I can train Wag. I've got Wag's on the map. Why would I do anything else? And I could ride them into combat, and I could basically be an orc. Or at least Deacon could be an orc, because, you know, Deacon's really ugly, apparently. I mean, Deacon looks beautiful to me, but... Let's just give them a cut plant order for all of the stuff that's basically inside. Hopefully no one will get trapped in there when they build it. That would make me sad. At least we've got all the beds done now, right? That's an improvement. Don't get trapped in there. Please don't get trapped in there. You're going to get trapped in there, aren't you? No! Yes, excellent. Well, congratulations. We've managed to make ourselves some sort of vague shelter area. Uh, next time, I think we'll be building uh, a kitchen over here. Finishing our wall down here. This wall, it's to keep all the Mexicans out, apparently. Uh, and then maybe we'll make a wall over here. I don't know if we won't really bother, but we'll see. Anyway, for now, I've been Etnerosium. If you have enjoyed, please remember to like. If you have... Uh, you know, want to leave a comment and stuff, do comment down below if you want me to continue playing more or whatever, if you enjoy... Oh, hello, another wag. If you enjoy Rimworld being back on the channel, yeah, let me know down below. The feedback is always appreciated. But, until next time, I've been at Elysium, and stay shiny.